good morning welcome to a new vlog so my current situation i am walking to the nail shop because i had to drop my car off to get an oil change so that's what we're doing not sure what i'm gonna get done i think i just want something really basic nothing too much something that just looks very clean and crisp so we'll see what i come out with all right y'all so i am back home and got my nails done i did like this um to me it looks kind of like peach a little closer but the color is called cinnamon so like my nails they came out cute and i'm about to do a little um self-care day i don't know i haven't done one in a while so i'm gonna steam my face this is my steamer right here this is the brand i got mine from amazon i think this was 29 let's just say it was between 19 and 30. i can't remember but it's somewhere in between there it actually works very well then once i steam my face i'm gonna go ahead and use my um the strips for my nose to pull out any like dirt or whatever clogged pores in my nose and while i have that on i'm gonna use my turmeric and honey mask and i had got this from tj maxx for what does that say 5.99 i've had this a while um this actually does work very well my skin just feels so clean tight and smooth when i wash that off and then i think i'm gonna follow it up with this milky face moisturizer that i showed you guys in the last vlog it's moisturizer and i got this at um ulta and this was like less than six dollars so that's what i'm gonna do and then while i do that i'm probably just gonna watch some youtube and then i got my medicine ball which i showed you guys a couple vlogs back if you didn't watch it go back and watch but this is lemonade hot water honey um a mint tea bag and a passion fruit tea bag very good um i have a i have allergies and i have like a seasonal cough that i always get anyone that really knows me knows that i be getting like this little cough and ever since i started drinking this stuff i have not gotten the cough and i think it's because of the honey because you know they say like honey is a natural cough suppressant especially but you're supposed to use local local honey i think that's what they say but i noticed the difference um it could just be a coincidence but i don't think so so i will catch back up with you guys Okay, you can come in now. Okay, so I have washed my mask off. Look at my skin. It's kind of red. Let me get it all closer. You can kind of see it's kind of red. For me wiping it off. But, so now I'm going to use some of my, let me see. So, so, uh, just gonna insert it in. 
And just remember that when you're putting on like your moisturizers, when you're washing your face, and when, you, when I wash my face, I like to go in a circular motion. When I put on my moisturizers, I make sure that you're just going up. You want to go against gravity. You don't want to be pulling your skin down because that's naturally where your skin's gonna end up. So just want to make sure that you are doing everything you can to prolong sagging, aging skin. Don't forget to do your neck. And you should do your hands because you can tell somebody's age sometimes, not their exact age, but that they are like aging by their hands. And you should treat your neck like you do your face. I didn't put a mask on my neck, but you want to make sure you're washing your neck good. Put your moisturizer on your neck because you don't want to have smooth face hair and a wrinkly neck. I mean, you might. I'm just saying. Um, it might not be the look you want. So that is it for my little skincare routine, little self-care time. I usually will do a mask, like a lip mask, but I'll probably do that before I go to bed because then I have like a nighttime, um, I have like a lip scrub and then I have a lip mask that I'll put on just because, you know, with the winter and going into spring, you know, your lips tend to get a little more dry. So I find that that works for me. So I'm about to chew and I'll be back. Hey y'all, I'm gonna pop back in. Just because I wanted to show you guys um, something else that I like to do is I like to use the um, Crest 3D whitening strips. And this is, I just like to do this. I don't do it every day. I do it maybe like once a week, um, sometimes twice a week, but it does help to kind of, you know, make your smile white. So it's these Crest strips. And then like on the back, it tells you like um, top and bottom and you wear the strips for an hour. And then the last five minutes, what you do is you put this in and it has, it's a blue light. So I'll show you, you put it in, you turn it on and then, and then after five minutes, the light will go off by itself. You take your strips off and then you are done. And I will tell you that you do notice a difference. Um, one of the reasons why I don't do it more than twice a week, if I do it, um, is because it can make your teeth sensitive. Um, I have not had that problem, but it's very clear on the directions. It does tell you that um, you can have teeth sensitivity, but that's with any type of teeth whitening, you know, because you're messing with your teeth and you know, it, the nerves and just the out. I mean, I guess it's just, I don't know what it is about it, but it can make you have teeth sensitivity. So if you're interested, I got mine at Target and um, I think I threw the box away, but you get about um, 30 of these, maybe more, maybe 60 um, for $60. I don't know. You get, you get enough. You get enough to do um, what you're trying to do, which is give yourself a wider smile. So head to Target, get yours. What's up, y'all? So, I'm at the dentist again to try to get this whole implant thing done. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my last video. So, hopefully everything works this time because I do not want to have to come back in three weeks if it does not. Because um, that will be the third time that they weren't able to get this implant to fit correctly. So, hopefully, second time is a charm. And I don't have to come back. So we will see. But other than that, I really don't have a lot going on today. Um, I do need to go to the Apple store because my left um my left AirPod is not working or it works for like 15 minutes and then it dies, even though it's saying it's a hundred percent. So I don't know. I have been told that you can replace one headphone. I don't know if it's cheaper to just buy the headphone or just start over and buy a whole new um airpod only because i've had these for three or four years now so it could just be old because even see i've been charging my case 
You see the red light? So it's still red. But then when I look at my phone, it said it was on 20%, like maybe like 30 minutes ago. So I don't know what it's saying now, but I'm just going to go into the Apple store because I got to figure out what's going on. Because, see? And now it's green. Can you see that? Look, and now it's green. But, yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't know. At this point, like I said, it's probably cheaper to just go ahead and replace them because it has been four years since I've gotten these. So I don't know, but I got to head into the dentist because my appointment is at 11. It's supposed to take 45 minutes and I just want to get this done. So I'll be back. Alright guys, so I got my dental implant, so that is all done. So now I'm down at Ivers by the water, which if you don't know what Ivers is, it's a fish place. And I'm waiting for my food. And Hi! This is the Can I see you? Hi. My niece winter. So this is the view of the city. here by the water but it is cold so we are not gonna eat inside so we're not gonna eat outside though because it's cold but and the water's not nothing to look at it's all green but it's still whatever I mean still by the water but and like here like the birds or the pigeons or what are those crows bothering the ducks and then you got the what are those seagulls but look at these statues, they're so cute. Look at those statues. We're in their St. Patrick's clothes. <laughs> St. Patrick's. Look at this cute little old couple. Oh no, sis, I'm falling in the water now. Yes, St. Patrick's statues wearing their clothes. <laughs> so happy Saturday. Kids and I are in Target. I needed to get a swooper to get up like dog hair off the floor. So I wanted to get a swooper, but I think I have one at home. But I didn't have the little pet um things that help pick it up <laughs> so i'm trying to figure out why their bananas are so big here let me show you guys these bananas are huge and i don't know why why is that banana so big like aren't they don't they look really long like look at that all right so we are back home and we are about to make you can probably hear the water boiling they're called um candy or candid or candied I think candied strawberries where we are boiling um, two cups of sugar one cup of water and then I guess what you're supposed to do is dip the strawberries in it then take the strawberries and dip them in ice cold water then back into this concoction and then back into the ice and then you're supposed to have these crunchy strawberries I can't even tell you what they're going to taste like because I'm allergic to strawberries. But this is one of my daughter's um, TikTok finds. So I'll let you guys know how they come out. Okay, put it in the water. Okay, now the, the last one. Careful. I think it's even we coat it. <clears throat> Alright, then you're supposed to set them in the set the strawberries after they've been coated in the sugar water. I don't know what you call it, sugar water. Recipe. <laughs> then you put your strawberries in ice cold water and you let them sit, and then they're supposed to get hard. So we will see if they have the crunch that they did in the so TikTok. This is video. looking like a fail. Hit them together. Because in the TikTok video, when she the lady was hitting them, they were sounding like crunchy, and these are sounding real soft. Should I try one? Mm hmm. We literally just eat all the strawberries. 
<laughs> so it was a waste of time. But at least we tried. I think what we should have used, but her recipe didn't call for, um, was a um like a syrup. I feel like we should have used something a little bit thicker. But we did what the recipe said. Oh <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> all right, so everything is now cut up. My meat is the only thing that I've seasoned so far. I'm gonna saute the vegetables, um, and then kind of pan fry the potatoes a little bit and then probably throw them in the oven to finish cooking because I don't want them super, I don't want them crispy. So I'm about to get started. It looks like it's gonna be good, girl. So I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet and then just a regular pan. potatoes they're in the oven now i've kind of already fried them a little bit and that is all right done. so it is done meat is tender vegetables are good and i'm gonna have some of this brie wine riesling yes ma'am all right y'all so i just ate and my food was it was really good. It came out really good. But I was going to show y'all some stuff I got today. So I was watching G, or she, or I think her name is Jerika. I don't know. But um, I love her channel. And she had a candle box. And she said she got it at Home Goods. And the one she had, I found a bigger version of it. Um, but I couldn't find this size. So I ended up just getting a clear one. So I'm going to put this on my nightstand and stick my candle in it. And I got this at Home Goods, and it was $9.99. Then I went to TJ Maxx, and I got Collagen Honey Serum, um, which is this. And it's like, it's a moisturizer, or it says it's moisturizing. So I don't know. I think that anything, I like stuff with honey in it. I don't know. So I'm going to try this. And then my daughter, she likes the Vitamin C Serum. <laughs> and this one was $4.99, excuse me. And then this one was $7.99. But you can see the difference in the size, which very, you know, it justifies the price. And then because I want to take a nice bath tonight, I got this Argan, Argan and Epsom. And it's called Paws. And it has um like lavender in it. So I'm gonna try this. y'all happy tuesday so i wanted to um show you guys a pair of shoes that i had got in the mail yesterday um they're so cute and i hope you guys appreciate the fact that i put on a bra for you because i just got home from work not too long ago and if you're like me the first thing that comes off is the bra but i don't know y'all like that yet um but when i do is what you're gonna see because um I want this off but oh and i had to fix my hair before i got on here because i know you guys be like why the hell are you always getting on here with your hair looking crazy and today on my way into work it was raining and honey i was out here rocking two textures one of them was wakanda forever and the other one was like ooh uh uh ooh uh uh so how to do something so you see the shine you see the shine so but these shoes instagram got me because i saw these on instagram first and i was like i need those in my life because i have this orange not the same um zara outfit i showed you guys in the last vlog this is a different orange zara outfit i got months ago but girl coach i have not bought no shoes from coach in oh, i swear to y'all it has to be over 15 20 years but anyway coach and if you know like i know or if you be on instagram like i be on instagram you know what shoes i'm talking about so look at these babies y'all these are so mother freaking cute aren't they so this color is it's orange 
And then it's got the, um, I don't know what color is given on camera, but this is fuchsia with the camel. And then it just says coach. And then the strap is, the strap is black. And then you see it has like the little bead design around the shoe. And so here they are together. I do know my left and my right, baby. So these are so cute. They're even cuter on. Um, I don't know. And I was, I didn't know what size to get because ever since I had my kids 11 years ago, um, my feet have gotten bigger. And prior to having kids, I wore eight, eight and a half. After having kids, I, wore, I wear like, I can fit some eight and a half, but mostly I go for nines. But I do know sometimes in sandals that they can run small. And so I did size a half size up and got a nine and a half. I'm glad that I did because the nine would have just fit. And I don't want to, I didn't want it to look like my toes were hanging on for dear life. That's not what I'm trying to look like. So I had enough room in the front. So I always say if these are still available and you get them, order a half size up. And these were... $79 free shipping too so anyway I just wanted to show you guys my new sandals oh this could be a thumbnail mm -hmm, girl I got them mm -hmm. thumbnail anyway I'm gonna go eat because um I'm hungry and I'm starting to feel delusional I'm so hungry All right, so it is Saturday, and we are at the YI. Um, it's like a kid's jumpy house, so that's what we are doing today. Um, for my friend's daughter's seventh birthday party, so it's loud in here. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but the kids are about to have some fun. There's Maya, Anthony over there. They felt like they were too big to come, but I think they'll have fun once they start. <laughs> oh, oh. So birthday party is over. It was fun. My foot's not on the gas. And we just came out of TJ Maxx. And these two ladies <laughs> almost ran us over trying to get out of the door. They had a cart full of stuff. And <laughs> she was polite though. Because she said, don't run the lady over. When I say they was dropping stuff out the when cart. When I say the lady had. Bruh. Hold on, Anthony. Had bags up her arm she had bags going up her arm and they just walked out security didn't chase them or anything so apparently i was expecting to see security trying to grab him but his big old behind was not about to put in all that work because he's still getting paid but i was just like dang so that's what we just saw happen Didn't even look like they had no good stuff either, though. But <laughs> she was just grabbing. <laughs> she had a cart full of stuff. And the lady, I think they knew what was about to happen because the lady said, oh, you pay for everything right over here. And she said, oh, okay, and beeline right out the door. Everything was buzzing. But like I said, they did nothing. They just let them go. I guess these people, and I guess I agree, like, I'm not about to risk it all. Go ahead and take it. I'm not about to risk it all. The store will write it off. 
and these people if something were to happen they're not gonna get their life back so it's it's not worth it but yeah that's how we're gonna um so i guess it's time to go home it's time to go home okay so i'm looking sloppy so we Hi just guys. it's my baby so we just pulled over to just eat something real quick so one thing <laughs> i think i got meat in my teeth but one thing the lady said she was pushing her cart and stuff was falling out and she looked at the other lady and said pick it up and the lady was picking it up and they was <laughs> shucking and driving trying to get to that car but you could tell one of the ladies she was she was about that life because she's done this before probably last week um or in the week before that um she clearly was not new to um boosting anything because she was she was the least bit worried about it whereas me if it were me my heart would have been beating and i probably would have just ran and let everything but i'm gonna just go ahead and pay for my stuff I just put that out there so i don't know but when she said pick it up <laughs> he said get all of my shit so ooh, people are almost on accident my my dad always said when you're driving, you're not driving for you. You're driving for other people. Because other people be so unsafe. They be so sidetracked, not paying attention. And this car almost T-boned another car. Got to pay attention, folks. Got to pay attention. Because you get hurt. All right, y'all. So I'm back home. And I just wanted to show you guys my um, track suit. If anyone's interested. However, I can almost guarantee you it's not available anymore because I've had this thing for probably about four years now. But it's cute. I mean, you may be able to find it. I don't know. But I, like I said, I've had it about four years. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I know I'm all up in your face. But one second. All right. So this is my tracksuit. I'll zoom in for you. It's really cute. It's like... um army fatigue it's adidas it zips up on the side sorry if my feet are ashy but it's super cute it's really comfortable it fits really good um yeah so and they are sewed separately all adidas track suits are sewed separately all right y'all so <sighs> sorry it's thirsty this brings me to the end of my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I want to thank y'all for watching and I'm trying to get my subscribers up. So again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's happening slowly but surely. I do appreciate those of you who are watching my videos and who have subscribed. So anyway, I'll see y'all in my next video. Good night.